Hi there, I'm Sally Marchant and today I'm going to be talking to you about teaching your dog to settle. This can be one of the most useful behaviours you teach your dog. Very useful for situations like when you've got visitors around or when you're eating your dinner or even when you're at the vets in the waiting room and you want your dog to just lie down calmly beside you, not playing with the lead, not jumping up at you for attention, not trying to rag on your clothing or bite your hands. Especially for puppies this can be a very, very useful little bit of training. It's good to start early, but you can introduce this training at any age. So we're going to start off with little Jessie here. And we've got a mat, and this is a good girl. This is going to be her, her mat where she settles. It's useful to start this training with a specific mat or rug or even an old towel, just somewhere where they know that they're going to be settling. But over time, they'll get used to the command settle means to lie down calmly and then you'll be able to use the command wherever you are without having that specific mat with you. So I'm going to bring a treat. Come on. Encourage her onto her mat and encourage her to lie down on that space. Can you lie down here? Can you sit? Down. Good girl. Good girl. And I've got her on the lead so that she can't wander around and walk off. And I'm just going to put my foot on the lead. Wrap it around a couple of times. Now, you see there's a little bit of slack here in the lead, so I'm not forcing her down, I'm not holding her neck close to the floor. I'm just encouraging her to stay in this sort of position. There you go. I don't want her to get distracted by other people and other things. So that's why I use the lead, just to keep her in this one position. If she gets up and pulls to the end of the lead, then all I do is encourage her back onto the mat, encourage her into a down, and give her a treat there. Now at the start I'm going to be dropping treats fairly regularly, fairly randomly. Not every five seconds or every two seconds, but maybe every couple of seconds and then ten seconds later and then again three seconds later. If you keep it random she doesn't know when it's going to appear. So she's not expecting it to be on a, a fixed schedule that she's going to be getting those treats. Keep it random and it keeps, keeps her guessing. Good girl. Mix in a little bit of praise every now and then. But if she gets up simply encourage her back down good girl and then she can get her treat. As you do this training you can gradually increase the amount of time that she spends on the mat in between getting treats. You don't want to constantly be having to feed them every time you want them to settle. But when you start in the training do feed quite regularly just to get them used to the idea that that's what they're supposed to be doing especially when they're a young puppy. They've got very short concentration spans. Good girl. Now she's actually settled into this pretty well, so I can start to introduce the command. I'm going to use settle for her. I want to say settle and for her to lie down next to me and just relax into that position. Settle. Good girl. So wait till they're in a calm and relaxed state in that position. Settle. Good girl. And just start to pair the command with what they're doing. Good girl. The best time to do this kind of training is when your dog's relaxed when they're not wanting to go out for some exercise or wanting to go to the loo. And you're relaxed as well. Maybe you're watching TV or you're working at the computer. Pick a time when they're nice and relaxed already. Just keep them with you with that lead. Good girl. And reward them every now and then. Start to stretch out the amount of time in between giving them treats. And swap it for a little bit of praise every now and then. Good girl. Good girl. When they're this young and when they're first starting training, um, keep sessions short, so just a couple of minutes. And when they're in this nice relaxed position, good girl, settle. You can unclip the lead. Okay, okay, off you go. Training session finished and you can walk off. During this training, if they start to learn other ways to get your attention that's not settling, for example, chewing on the lead, then there are a few little tricks that you can use. Obviously you don't want them biting through the lead. So you can get a chain lead for just this section. Chain collars are not good for the dogs, but a thin chain lead that you can pop onto the collar and just put your foot on the bottom of the chain, it's just something that's not as pleasant for them to chew, so it just discourages them from getting your attention in that way. The other thing you can do when you start to increase the amount of time that they are in their settled position is give them something to do. Again, especially when they're a young puppy like this, they haven't got very good concentration spans and they do need to keep themselves occupied. So this is a Kong. I've just smeared some cheese spread around the inside, just a tiny little bit, about my fingernail size, and just put it around the edge. I just, can just give that to her on her space where she settles, just to give her something to keep her busy. 
Once they're good at settling while they're on lead, you can start to remove the lead. Again, go back to very short sessions. So take that lead, pop it somewhere else, and start to drop the, tre the, the treats a little bit more regularly again, just to, for the initial section. Good girl. And some praise. But because you've done the training on lead, you should be able to progress fairly quickly through these stages and start to lengthen out the time between getting a treat. Eventually, you can work up to telling a dog to go and settle, and they should go to their, their mat, their bed, and stay there until you tell them that they can go off and play. Good girl, good settle. Very nice. It's important to phase out these treats quite quickly because you don't want to be reliant on giving them treats the whole time. Use the treats in the initial training sessions and phase them out over the days and weeks that you're practicing this. Once you've got them settling near you, you can start to move this mat further away. So you can put it just a, a foot away from you and then two feet and then three feet and gradually work on the training further and further away until you can even send them, if you're wanting to, to another room to settle. Remember, don't expect your dog to be settling all the time. Let them be dogs and let them have their fun. But when you're wanting them to settle at the vets or when you've got visitors around, you've got this tool that you can fall back on.